a projected shortfall in revenues and billions needed to respond to the COVID-19 crisis, government has been forced to cut spending by up to 41.2 percent. Ministries, departments and agencies budget a timely adjustment, according to policy experts. Dealing away with wasteful expenditure, which has been a recurring problem, so that we can leverage our own resources than go to borrow, especially for capital development. We also need to continue looking at revenue mobilization beyond domestic revenue mobilization. But even then, domestically, tax compliance is key. When you look at the digital stamp as an example, a system that was introduced uh, recently through Uganda Revenue Authority, we need to have all the major manufacturers being under that system. Some of them to date have dodged that, and of course with under declaration on taxes. We need to ensure that we get the due revenues, rental and otherwise, from our, our buildings, our property as a country, foreign missions. How much are we getting from the, the New York mission buildings, for instance? To date, expenditure has increased to a record high 25% and the deficit currently approaching 10%, all funded by increasing borrowing. The World Bank warned government recently on the implication. There has been increased use of supplementary budgets, which distorts budgeting and also reduces the credibility of the budget. But the other important issue is that additional spending also went probably to emergencies for classified expenditures. So you can't really analyze what exactly that did, except that you know that um, security spending has been increasing and is, is now at a record high of 30% of the revenues that the country is getting compared to what it was five years ago when it was about 15%. And in terms of the structure of debt, Uganda has to pay much faster because we are borrowing at shorter term. We are borrowing at higher interest. So we had to borrow money, first of all, to handle the crisis that was caused, the health crisis, about 1.6 million, 6 trillion, to deal with the crisis that had been caused by the pandemic. But all hope is not gone. There's a way out of the tight loan wave. Measures, according to the Uganda Debt Network head, aimed at offsetting the rather burdensome kind of borrowing. We need to leverage our mineral processing capacity when you look at uh, uh, Moroto, for instance, which is going to be the mineral city of Uganda. We need to begin organizing so that we emphasize processing and then out of that, rather than said raw materials, we are able to get a, a, a good dividend from our, our minerals, including focusing beyond oil now, focusing on iron ore. On Uganda's fiscal deficit has since expanded from an estimated 5% to 7%. And with debt not going away, there's consensus that the country must leverage our own resources and a quick restructuring of government, all with the name of reducing expenditure needs to stem the level of indebtedness.